Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the uh, Army of Two run, a legendary Iron Man run where we are going to reduce our squad size to two in all of the runs. Um, the game is throwing us a supply rate, uh, pretty um, friendly. Um, the game is realizing we're short on resources and it's going to be a moderately difficult run. I uh, have no uh, mm, illusions that moderate in this case means it's going to be really 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 difficult looking at our roster i would want to take roby with us unfortunately he's still wounded for 22 more days uh dragonova we just uh, pretty much fucked the mission up with her uh getting her wounded as well our best two units are on a covered ops mission to get them further promoted so it's really edgar alien poe and whoever from the squaddy rank i feel comf uh, comfortable taking with me Given that Roby is still um, quite a uh, quite a while um, out, and given that we are soon going to take a Templar, I am toying with the idea of uh, getting in another specialist in uh, just to uh, to level another specialist for now, in case uh, Roby unfortunately dies. So I think this is going to be a solid um, uh, tech team. We're lacking the explosives. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Nah, I think that's good. I think we're fine. So we're going to go with the two of them. And uh, there is a side trap of resistance contact. So someone is uh, supposedly down there, which means we're getting some sort of help. And we can even extract valuable resources. The advantage if we're successful here is we're going to take a lot of intel um, supplies as well as alien alloys, even alarium. So it would be nice if we can pull it off. It would uh, give us a lot of resources. If we fail, that's fine as well. Uh, just Edgar Alien Pro shouldn't die. That's pretty much it. Good. Off to South Africa and let's see how this mission is going to turn out. Beautiful little start in this uh, quite exotic wilderness. Typical South Africa landscape here, by the way, guys. And it even tells you, please do not destroy critical supplies. Anyways, okay. we're going to move out just as if it would be a normal mission with four. But in this case, we're just playing with two. Let's scout the area. We got a bit of high ground here. Nice little squad side opportunity. As well, um, and that's, I think, it. No further high ground. Probably should have checked in the trainings laboratory if uh, Edgar Allan Poe could have taken uh, a training himself. Oh, oh, what? Two stun lancers? Gosh. Closing on target position I think I did not mention how difficult supply rates are on average stasis and stun lancer together are really 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 bad combination <laughs> yeah i'm not 100 percent sure if we can actually do this mission and it even says neutralize all enemies I mean, the matter of the fact is... We have 4 plus 3 points of damage. And we're looking at six, uh, 24 <laughs> hit points um, of uh, health. The pack has more health than we even have in damage. And I can't just use a summoning or any 
any mimic beacon well, we don't have those yet um, yeah I mean there is really not so much we can do can I cheese them oh, yeah. well I do I guess I do have an idea here's the thing it's a pretty lame tactic but I mean if we're going to fail this run anyways uh, then I suppose it doesn't matter how we're failing it So, my cheesy strategy is going to use high ground. And more specifically, high ground where we are blocking their way up to the high ground. Okay, so far so good. They only have one way, which is up here, and that's okay. That's good. And the idea is that we are basically using the super far, uh, long range of of squad side to hit them. Okay, we're at the same time going to pull back so that we're always beautifully out of range Sun Lancers need to die first this here is a pretty okay-ish um, chance to actually crit him come on could have been better Good, we're just moving back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no. Thanks, but no thanks. We're not going to fight her. Okay, so if we were to call a good old Sky Ranger, good. If we were to call a good old Sky Ranger to here. That means we could just get the F out of here. Okay. Yeah. Enemy destroyed. Solid kill. I 
don't think that he can actually kill him. But just out of principle, I wanted to to hit him. Yeah, I think we don't need to review our tactics. I think our tactics were pretty much on spot here. Enemies killed one out of seven. Two packs plus Dragon Over is not going to fly. Not with that team and not with extra equipment. The true power of Advent is unleashed upon our enemy and they crumble. We do not hide in the shadows. We back in the Elder's light. Yeah, it happens guys, it happens. We really haven't lost anything. Just got an extra kill, extra mission. And that's pretty much it. It was a chance, but uh, the mission itself was too difficult. So no point in, in uh, getting killed by uh, uh, by the assassin again with Dragonova and spotting her out uh, in time might have been a bit different Long live the resistance. New regional contact located. the local resistance we just established contact with have sent over all the intel they've collected on the chosen operating in this region and so you would come to strike at me I eagerly await your arrival, Commander. Okay. Well, we currently can't make any more contact. No, we We're pretty much maxed out. Bearing on the local resistance forces in that area. Avenger plotting new course. It was your intention to aggravate me further by seeking the aid of those traitorous dogs. So, we got ourselves uh, 79 debris, and I guess a guerrilla tactic school wouldn't be too bad, because we can upgrade... Well, let me think about it. Well, we could upgrade the individual buffs for, uh, for each of uh, the classes. I think that would be an option. Yeah, I guess why not? Laboratory is another option. We are just missing a couple of supplies for it. Hmm. I mean, the question with the GTS is uh, we don't need the squad size upgrades, so that is kind of void. We only would get the up, uh, the upgrades for each of the soldiers, and that requires sergeant rank and above, which we currently don't have. Um, so you need to be like relatively high with, uh, with the soldiers. Anyways, captain, it is not sergeant, captain rank and above. We don't have that yet. So I am really toying with the idea of probably instead getting an infirmary to reduce the healing time or laboratory, but our problem is uh, the that once soldiers are injured, we're having a hard time getting uh, getting them back. Mm. I think with all of these considerations we're probably so that's 30 days 
And here we're looking at 30 days as, as well, okay. Yeah, let's let's wait until we get the a uh, couple more supplies, which is going to happen soon. Um, we're actually currently farming supplies here, so supply drop is happening in three days, anyways. And yeah, let's get let's let's go for the infirmary. Recover resistance operator. So oh, that's interesting. So sure, we could do that. Problem is, we might face the warlock here. But yeah, I mean, we're looking for an engineer plus hundred and two intel. How are we supposed to say no to that? Um, I guess we're going to do that in our next mission, but wait a second, if we fly over, we already have the end of the month, so might as well do that now so that you guys don't miss what's happening towards the end of the month. There we go, that's the end of the month. Uh, interesting bit of income. Sabotage on the Avenger is not so good. We, uh, that's really actually that's a bit bad. Uh, that's a bit problematic. It could uh, mean that uh, some of our projects are going to be delayed. Sometimes research, for instance. This here would be bad for us because currently the. Um, monthly drops are almost our only um, source of income. I still think we should go with the uh, loss here and soon increase both of the factions or all of the factions, respectively spend some uh, money to get a second wildcard and I would then take the additional timers. For now it's fine. Okay, so we're going to do this mission next, and yeah, that's actually going to happen in the next uh, video. Sorry for a shorter video this time, and for actually not being able to pull off the mission, but that's the nature of uh, the game here sometimes. Could have been a bit better uh, prepared with Dragonova, then the supply run would have uh, been different. But she's almost back in business, so um, Dragonova and, and, and Galleon Poe will be our uh, go-to team when it comes to um, to the uh, non-timed missions from now on. All right, thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.